The main intention behind the development of Sifu was to create a robust, satisfying martial arts combat system. A spiritual successor to Absolver, Sifu was a much more focused experience, this time with only one combat style to master and encounters set within a linear environment. The unnamed protagonist uses a variety of moves and techniques based on existing kung fu styles, with the developers at Slow Clap working closely with real-life masters of these techniques to ensure an accurate depiction in-game. And after just over 12 hours of playtime, I can confidently say the developers at Slow Clap succeeded in their primary objective. The best way to describe the overall combat is easy to learn, but hard to master. You will die a lot in this game. The combat is very hard, yet most deaths feel fair, and every enemy has patterns that you can exploit. The game gives you two basic attacks, the light and heavy, which you can mix to build combos on individual targets or groups of enemies. Then you've got focus, which slows down time, allowing you to perform a special move like a sweep, vertical strike, or an eye poke. Another big aspect of combat is weapons and environmental utilization. Scattered throughout the various missions are bow stats, crowbars, and my personal favorite, the mop. These weapons can completely change the flow of combat, turning a tough encounter into a manageable outing. Yet in my experience, it's the simplest tools that often lead to the best results. Also scattered throughout the environment are bottles, bricks, and chairs, which you can throw or kick at enemies to discombobulate and get off some free damage. But ask any respectable self-defense coach. Commander Brown, Detroit for well training. And they would tell you that offense is only half of the equation. Perfect parries and directional dodges are the two tools you will need to master in order to beat this game. Now there are other options for defense, such as the regular dodge and a block but you will quickly learn that these should be ignored in most circumstances. The real challenge of Sifu lies in mastering the structure system. This system, which in practice functions like a stamina meter, dictates how many attacks you or an enemy can take before guard is broken. Breaking an enemy structure gives you the option to perform a fast finisher. However, certain enemies can resist this finisher, gaining more health, different, more intricate combos, and in most cases, running up your death toll. Speaking of death, the majority of them will come by the hands of the five bosses you will face at the end of each level. These bosses range in difficulty, from easy to wildly difficult, with the third boss in particular taking me way longer than she should have. But overall, the bosses are the highlight of this game, taking all the skills you have learned in each level and applying them in one set encounter. In the end, you're still that same child I knew. Helpless. Like the night I killed your father. You want revenge? Show me. Inspired by films like The Raid, John Wick, and Police Story, Sifu manages to seamlessly blend the essence of several martial arts classics into a 10 to 15 hour experience. You play as an unnamed protagonist on the hunt for the group that murdered his father, with callbacks to classic cinema noticeable in the very first moments of the game. In its very first level, Sifu references Old Boy with the corridor scene that takes place about a quarter of the way into the mission. Like in the iconic scene, the camera momentarily pans into a 2D view as the player clears the hallway. And I don't know if it's intentional, but I personally immediately thought of the hallway fight scenes in Daredevil during this encounter. Overall, the story in Sifu is basic, but does a good job at justifying the reasoning behind killing countless drug addicts, partygoers, and working class citizens. If you're not on the list, you're not getting inside. <laughs> I find it hilarious that the good ending of the game involves the protagonist murking countless blue-collar workers, only to spare the people he has been actively hunting for eight years. This is... Still, the story does have some great moments. The art style in Sifu is absolutely incredible. From museums to nightclubs, 
to the absolutely stunning vistas you will stumble upon as you complete the game. Sifu is truly a testament to the importance of a solid art direction over high graphical fidelity. Choosing to focus on five levels was a great choice by the team at Slow Clap. Each level is extremely detailed, with numerous shortcuts to be found and collectibles to discover as you explore each environment. If I had to rate it, I would give Sifu an 8.5 out of 10, making it my highest rated game of the year. Where I think Sifu truly shines is in the way it constantly pushes you towards interacting with its best mechanics, putting the focus on the areas in which it truly excels. And unfortunately, the same cannot be said for many other modern releases. Yes, it's a short game with a basic story, but the combat mechanics alone make it worth any shortcomings. Anyways, if you made it this far, I really do appreciate it. Uh, been playing through both Red Dead Redemption and Jedi Survivor, so stay tuned for a video about either one of those in the near future, and have a good one.